Beloved in Christ, the next couple of days and today, I want to be touching on a subject that you're not hearing much about today. But there is a spirit, a rise of the spirit of Cain that is in the world today. Let's look at what the Word of God says in Psalms. Uh, 30, uh, 37 chapter and the 32nd <clears throat> and the 33rd verse. The wicked watch it the righteous and seek it to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Beloved, there is a rise of the spirit of Cain in these last days. Now you might ask the question, what is the spirit of Cain? Well, it's a spirit of jealousy, an envious spirit that ultimately leads to disassociation or casting one out and ultimately, if not dealt with sufficiently, then it leads to murder. And when you say the Cain of spirit, what are you talking uh, the, sp uh, uh, the spirit of Cain? What am exactly what I'm talking about? You know the story of Cain and Abel. And even though they were brothers, Cain found a way or an opportunity to kill his own brother. Beloved, that is the same spirit that was arise when those who were of the synagogue, and uh, Jesus referred to them as the synagogue of Satan, because they desire to see him killed. Though they were religious, Though they were part of a sect of that day that Jesus came into, they were willing to murder him because of envy and jealousy in order to shut him out. Where in these latter days, God will lift up his people who are willing to love unconditionally and to stand in that love. And to walk according to the word. And they will be rejected. There are many today. That said they are Christians. And that they are being rejected by the world. But beloved. Many of them are being rejected. Because of their behavior. Because of the way that they are walking. And they are not necessarily understanding. That they are not even humble. They are many times blaspheming even the name of Jesus. Saying things and, and, and trying to gain financial superiority over others. But yet they walk and say that they are Christians. Well, beloved, the Lord knows those who are His. He knew that Abel was His. Cain also was his. But Cain had a choice to make. That's why, beloved, it is very important for us to know this so that we don't fall to the spirit of Cain, in other words, justifying that which is evil. Because as the word says in the 32nd verse, the wicked watch it, the righteous, and seek to slay him. Because God is being good to him. Now this isn't the world lashing out at true believers. But the religious, the false Christians in their self-righteousness and indignation. Where they can justify hating you, despising you, and even murder you. And if not, they simply provoke others 
to do their bidding and watch it done with no remorse or empathy. Beloved, there's a foul spirit that is in the earth today. That same spirit that roamed the earth with Cain and Abel. And beloved, the Lord wants to make us aware of it. As the sign says behind me, love never fails. But the Cain spirit cannot see that. The Cain spirit wanted it all for himself. But dearly beloved, just as many today will fall away as the word of God says, but there's the religious people who are false Christians, who believe that they are Christians. But at the same time, even as the Sadducees and the Pharisees and the scribes was willing to put the Son of God to death. And even though they did not kill him, they provoked the Roman to do their bidding for them. And that's what false Christians will do today. They may not lay a hand on you. They may not try to hurt you. But they will provoke or deceive others to do harm to you. And they will stand aside and believe that they do it the will of God. Beloved, watch that spirit. Allow not that spirit to take hold of your life or anyone in your household. Beloved, we will continue on that subject in Jesus' name.